Hello, I'm Randy Boer, a transplant nurse coordinator. I'm going to walk you through what you need to know about the evaluation process for heart transplants. Because there's so much information to process, we like to encourage people to look at everything one phase at a time. We'll start by explaining that we're in the evaluation phase to see if you're a candidate for a heart transplant. You'll need to sign a consent form that says you are being evaluated for transplant. At that time, we'll provide UNOS information, a statistics page that highlights typical outcomes, and a review of our geographic coverage area that includes Colorado, Wyoming, and New Mexico. As you'd expect from such a major procedure, there's a lot to the evaluation process. It takes three days to complete. For the most part, the evaluation will be non-invasive, with the only exception being going to the cath lab, which is an exam room with diagnostic imaging equipment to see the arteries and chambers of the heart for a right heart cath and possibly a left heart cath. You'll participate in several consultations with a cardiac surgeon and with persons from psychology, pharmacy, and nutrition. You'll also be required to do a lot of blood work and will receive cardiac echo, carotid artery screening, and an abdominal ultrasound. If you get listed, you'll see infectious disease specialists and get a bone density scan. Depending on the disease process, you may meet with the left ventricular assist device or LVAD team as well. Once we get all test results, the transplant selection committee will review all of your testing to see what the best recommendation is for transplant, medical therapy, and or VAD. The key question they're looking to answer is if there's anything else we can offer short of transplant. If you can keep your own heart, we want to make that happen. We also want to make sure the rest of your body is in good condition, especially your liver and kidneys. Transplant can make some diseases worse. We want to make the best recommendation we can to give you the best quality of life. The cardiologist will follow up with you on the outcome of your meeting. If the decision is made to list you, you'll need to go back to Transplant Financial and check insurance coverage before you can be listed. Overall, it's important to remember that this is a lifelong decision and you need to be committed to taking care of your new heart after transplant. As always, we're here to answer any questions you may have. To learn more, visit uchealth.org transplant.